Okay, so I decided to do a video on installing an extended choke tube for the Rock Island. Same as the Lion, same as several other variants of the X4. Now, they're all made in Turkey, but there are some differences. One of the main things you're going to find is that this is listed in some accounts as being an inertia gun, not a gas system. That's wrong. At least my example is definitely a gas operated system. It has your light load uh, already installed and then there's a heavy load that you change out up top. Um, I haven't run the gun yet. I did these mods before I shot it, but from what I understand, the light load covers two and three quarter and the heavy load covers three inch. Um, this assembly instructions that come with a gun are terrible. Um, common sense tells you to take the uh, magazine tube end cap off. Uh, the four stock comes off. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Where it gets tricky is that in order to get the bolt released, which I'll show some pictures of that later, uh, you have to get uh, the bolt uh, handle out. To do that, you have to line these two up right here. Um, you're going to do that with the barrel already out, of course. And getting this handle out is a chore. They act like you just tug it out. You have to yank on this guy hard. I wound up putting a zip tie around it with a pair of pliers on the zip tie to get this thing out. Now, it's never been shot, so I'm sure that's part of it. But again, the instructions to disassemble are some really lame pictures that don't translate into any real help at all. Another thing, some of these reviews list the rear sight um, as a three dot. Mine is a ghost ring aperture, as you can see. But pretty much everything else you read about them is relatively accurate. Um, so I'm going to start backwards. Um, this is the finished product. Um, and then I'll add some things along the way as to how to get to that. Um, one of the things that you're going to run into is that um, once you get everything apart, uh, you're going to need to get the magazine tube out. I've seen some people talk about cutting the end of the the magazine tube off with the magazine tube installed. That's crazy. It simply unscrews. I took a heavy pair of leather gloves. I was able to get enough traction to just unscrew the tube and remove it. Once it's removed, I'll go through the process of removing the uh, crimped end of the factory mag tube uh, in order to screw this on. Of course, the, the crimp holds the uh, follower uh, in place that has to be opened up in order for the two and three quarter inch shell to slide through or three inch shell, whatever for that matter. Uh, it's going to hang up obviously if you don't enlarge it. And of course the spring has to go through. It's pretty simple with a file um, and a little bit of sandpaper. So we'll get to that next. So here is the stock magazine tube before mods. And here's the tube after it's been modified slightly. And then here's after it's been filed and sanded with 400 grit. This is the fore end before assembly. This is the magazine tube extension itself prior to assembly. And here is the final product, which fit nicely. The tube does come with a new spring. Um, I got the... Um, complete assembly with the tube. It has this little sling attachment. And I don't know if that's going to be any good or not. It looks like it's going to get in the way of your Picatinny rail if you use it. Plus, it'll also come up here and smack the barrel. So I don't know if that's going to stay on or not. That may get gone. Uh, anyway, it's there. Um, anyway, I got this kit um, from Fed Arms and uh, followed another link on another YouTube uh, comment and sure enough it's the right one now look at this if you were to have 
this 18 and a half inch barrel without the suppressor that comes with it, this thing would be too long. So I think a 20 inch barrel um, without any um, suppressor or compensator on the end would probably be the right fit. Otherwise, this might look stupid. Probably some people think it does anyway, but um, I'll take the extra rounds over aesthetics. And that's pretty much it.